we want to find the point at which the line given by the vectored valued function intersects the yz plane. Let's first write the line as a set of parametric equations. Notice how we'd have x of t equals six plus negative eight t, or six minus eight t. We'd have y of t equals negative three plus negative six t, or negative three minus six t. And we'd have z of t equals negative two plus two t. Before we find the point of intersection though, let's look at this graphically. The line is graphed in blue and the yz plane is graphed in yellow. We're looking for the point of intersection of the line and the plane, which would be this red point here. The key to understanding how to approach this is to recognize that every point in the yz plane would have an x-coordinate of zero. So going back to our question, because the point of intersection is in the yz plane, we know the x-coordinate of the point of intersection must be zero. For additional information, I've also included the equations of the coordinate planes. Again, notice how the equation of the yz plane is x equals zero, which once again is y. We know the x-coordinate must be zero. And now to find the y and z coordinates, we'll determine what value of t makes x of t equal to zero, and then we'll use that value of t to determine the y and z coordinates. So for the next step, we'll set x of t equal to zero. So if x of t is equal to zero in the yz plane, then the value of t must satisfy the equation zero equals six minus eight t. Adding eight t to both sides, we have eight t equals six, dividing both sides by eight we have t equals six-eighths, which is three-fourths. And now we can use t equals three-fourths to determine the y and z coordinates of the point of intersection. And again, we already know that x of three-fourths is equal to zero. Now we need to find y of three-fourths and z of three-fourths. So for y of three-fourths, we'd have negative three minus six times three-fourths which is equal to negative three minus, let's write six to six over one, times three fourths. Simplifying common factor of two, two twos and four, three twos and six. So we have negative three or negative three over one. This would be minus nine halves. Common denominator of two. So we have negative six halves minus nine halves, which is negative 15 halves which is our y-coordinate of the point of intersection. And finally, for the z-coordinate, we need to determine z of three-fourths, which is negative two plus two times three-fourths. So we have negative two plus two over one times three-fourths. Again, simplifying common factor of two. We have negative two over one, and this would be plus three-halves. Again, common denominator of two. So we have negative four halves plus three halves, which is negative one half. So the z-coordinate is negative one half. So the point at which the line intersects the yz plane is the point zero comma negative 15 halves comma negative one half, which once again would be the coordinates of this red point. I hope you found this helpful.